Well, support for the impeachment inquiry into President Trump's conduct appears to be growing even among Republicans. WBZ political analyst John Keller is here with that story tonight. John. Yeah, Paula, just a few weeks ago, impeachment polls found most Americans, 57 percent, didn't want any part of it. But in the two weeks since the Ukraine whistleblower story broke, there's been an eyebrow-raising reversal, and now 58 percent support the inquiry. I think it's one phrase. Can you do me a favor, though? Congresswoman Catherine Clark of Melrose telling WBZ News why she thinks polls that for months showed majority opposition to impeachment have now flipped to majority support for it. People understand corruption, whether they're in a red state or a blue state, and that's what is on display here. The president's corruption in such a clear way is put forth in the whistleblower complaint. All you have to do is take a look at the polls. But a Washington Post poll taken during a week of persistent pushback by the president and his allies against impeachment suggests the counterattack isn't working too well, even among Republicans, whose support for Mr. Trump has regularly reached the 90% range. The people understand it's a scam. But in that new poll, 28% of Republicans approve of the impeachment inquiry. If you look at that call, it's a perfect call. It's congenial. There was no pressure. One third of Republicans disagree, saying the president's request of Ukraine was inappropriate. It's just a scam. This is a scam by the Democrats to try and win an election. But nearly four in ten Republicans disagree, saying the House is taking a necessary stand against Mr. Trump's actions. They were wary about impeachment's political risk. But with numbers like that emerging, you can sense the budding confidence of House leaders like Clark. So this might slop over into the election year. Uh, we, we will have to see. We're really going to let the facts set the timeline. So in the meantime, John, as we said within the last hour, the White House has let the House of Representatives know it will not cooperate with the inquiry, escalating the drama there. So could all of this end up overshadowing the Democratic primaries as those candidates are trying to get their messages out? Well, if this non-cooperation just stifles the emergence of further info, I suppose it could, but I don't think that's going to happen. And frankly, if I were the Democrats, I'd want the impeachment to take center stage, even through the primaries. Their best bet is for the election next year to be a referendum on the incumbent. And to the extent that the focus is on him in a negative light, that's good news for the Democrats. Yeah. At least I think it is. John Kelly.